Pharmacology. What is pharmacology? Pharmacology is a branch of medicine and pharmaceutical sciences, which is concerned with the study of drug or medication action. Where a drug can be broadly or narrowly defined as any man-made, natural, or endogenous, from within the body, molecule, which exerts a biochemical or physiological effect on the cell, tissue, organ, or organism. More specifically, it is the study of the interactions that occur between a living organism and chemicals that affect normal or abnormal biochemical function. If substances have medicinal properties, they are considered pharmaceuticals. Clinical pharmacology is the science of drugs in humans and their optimal clinical use in patients. It is underpinned by the basic science of pharmacology, with an added focus on the application of pharmacological principles and quantitative methods in the real human patient's population. In addition, the application of genetic, biochemical, or virotherapeutic techniques has led to a clear appreciation of the mechanisms involved in drug action. The two main areas of pharmacology are pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics. Pharmacodynamics studies the effects of a drug on biological systems. And pharmacokinetics studies the effects of biological systems on a drug. In broad terms, pharmacodynamics discusses the chemicals with biological receptors. And pharmacokinetics discusses the absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion, ADME, of chemicals from the biological systems. Pharmacology is not synonymous with pharmacy, and the two terms are frequently confused. Pharmacology, a biomedical science, deals with the research, discovery, and characterization of chemicals which show biological effects, and the elucidation of cellular and organismal function in relation to these chemicals. In contrast, pharmacy, a health services profession, is concerned with the application of the principles learned from pharmacology in its clinical settings, whether it be in a dispensing or clinical care role. In either field, the primary contrast between the two is their distinctions between direct patient care, pharmacy practice, and the science-oriented research field, driven by pharmacology. Pharmacokinetics, from ancient Greek pharmakon, drug and kineticos, moving, putting in motion. Sometimes abbreviated as PK, is a branch of pharmacology dedicated to determine the fate of substances administered to a living organism. It attempts to analyze chemical metabolism and to discover the fate of a chemical from the moment that it is administered up to the point at which it is completely eliminated from the body. Pharmacokinetics is the study of how an organism affects a drug, whereas pharmacodynamics, PD, is the study of how the drug affects the organism. Both together influence dosing, benefit, and adverse effects, as seen in PK-PD models. Pharmacokinetics describes how the body affects a specific chemical after administration through the mechanisms of absorption and distribution as well as the metabolic changes of the substance in the body, such as by metabolic enzymes such as cytochrome P450 or glucuronosyltransferase enzymes, and the effects and roots of excretion of the metabolites of the drug. Pharmacokinetic properties of chemicals are affected by the route of administration and the dose of administered drug. These may affect the absorption rate. Pharmacokinetics including five parts. Biotransport or liberation the process of release of a drug from the pharmaceutical formulation and pass through the membrane. There are a few different ways when drug across cell membrane, such as simple diffusion, filtration which will not use energy and no special protein channels need, and also facilitated diffusion, active transport which need protein channels and maybe energy's help. There is another way drug across cells membrane, it is cell endocytosis. Absorption the process of a substance entering the blood circulation. It is depending the route the drug enters the organism, 
and its bioavailability, which is the rate and amount of drug that is absorbed from a given dosage form, and reaches the systemic circulation. Distribution The dispersion or dissemination of substances throughout the fluids and tissues of the body. Metabolism, or biotransformation, or inactivation, the recognition by the organism that a foreign substance is present and the irreversible transformation of parent compounds into daughter metabolites. Excretion The removal of the substances from the body. In rare cases, some drugs irreversibly accumulate in body tissue. When talking about excretion, it is usually using half-life of a drug. What is the half-life of a drug? A medication's biological half-life refers simply to how long it takes for half of the dose to be metabolized and eliminated from the bloodstream. Or, put another way, the half-life of a drug is the time it takes for it to be reduced by half. Pharmacodynamics Pharmacodynamics, PD, is the study of the biochemical and physiologic effects of drugs, especially pharmaceutical drugs. The effects can include those manifested within animals, including humans, microorganisms, or combinations of organisms, for example, infection. Pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics are the main branches of pharmacology, being itself a topic of biology interested in the study of the interactions between both endogenous and exogenous chemical substances with living organisms. In particular, pharmacodynamics is the study of how a drug affects an organism, whereas pharmacokinetics is the study of how the organism affects the drug. Both together influence dosing, benefit, and adverse effects. Pharmacodynamics is sometimes abbreviated as PD and pharmacokinetics as PK, especially in combined reference, for example, when speaking of PK slash PD models. Pharmacodynamics places particular emphasis on dose response relationships, that is, the relationships between drug concentration and effect. An adverse effect is an undesired harmful effect resulting from a medication or other intervention, such as surgery. An adverse effect may be termed a side effect, when judged to be secondary to a main or therapeutic effect. If it results from an unsuitable or incorrect dosage or procedure, this is called a medical error and not a complication. Adverse effects are sometimes referred to as iatrogenic, because they are generated by a physician or treatment. Some adverse effects occur only when starting, increasing or discontinuing a treatment. The harmful outcome is usually indicated by some results such as morbidity, mortality, alteration in body weight, levels of enzymes, loss of function, or as a pathological change detected at the microscopic, at macroscopic or physiological level. It may also be indicated by symptoms reported by a patient. Adverse effects may cause a reversible or irreversible change, including an increase or decrease in the susceptibility of the individual to other chemicals, foods, or procedures, such as drug interactions. In terms of drugs, adverse events may be defined as any untoward medical occurrence in a patient or clinical investigation subject administered a pharmaceutical product, and which does not necessarily have to have a causal relationship with this treatment. In clinical trials, a distinction is made between an adverse event and a serious adverse event. Generally, any event which causes death, permanent damage, birth defects, or requires hospitalization is considered a serious adverse event. The results of trials are often included in the labeling of the medication to provide information both for patients and the prescribing physicians. The term life-threatening in the context of a serious adverse event refers to an event in which the patient was at risk of death at the time of the event. It does not refer to an event which hypothetically might have caused death if it were more severe. This is the basic knowledge of pharmacology. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please thumb up and leave a message. 
You must be my biggest motivation to make the video. Please subscribe to the channel, where you'll find more and more medical videos here later. Thanks.